Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack here on our 2021 Chevrolet Equinox. Now this is going to be a really solid option if you're looking for an e-bike rack that has a high capacity and is really easy to use. This one's going to have a 70 pound capacity, so good for some of those heavier bikes, and it's going to hold it really solid. It is a frame mount, so just be careful if you do have a carbon frame. But with the way these clamps rotate 360 degrees, it is going to be good for our alternative frames too, giving us plenty of ways to attach. Now the thing that makes this so easy in my opinion is the tilting away. If we come back to the point right here where it pivots, we've got a gray handle. I'm just going to loosen that up and then just push it back. And that's going to release this tilting mechanism and we can just ease it down. Because of where this pivot point is, it's really easy to use. It's not very heavy, even if it's fully loaded, very manageable on your own, which is a lot different than a lot of the other racks. But this way we can tilt it away, get hatch access to maybe change our shoes before or after a ride, or just get something out of the back if we need it without unloading the whole bike rack. Tilting it back up is just as easy. You can do it from the back and pull it or push it up into place from here. Then all we gotta do is just push that hand knob back into place and tighten it down to secure it. Really simple. From here, we can unload the bike. This does come with a ramp that I'll attach at the back end. It's a pretty solid ramp. We don't have the room for it right now. So I'm just gonna get the bike unloaded right now by starting with these ratcheting wheel straps. There's gonna be a gray button facing out. And then we can just push that in, pull out that ratcheting strap just like that. There's three on the bottom, and then we've got this clamp up top. Tool free, just rotate that hand knob. It is lockable, so if you wanna lock the bike to the rack, you can lock that hand knob. And then we can just rotate that out of the way. And at this point, you'd wheel it backwards or just lift it up and away. Because of that mass design, if you do decide to just lift it up and away like that, there's nothing in your way, so it's really simple. You're not running into anything or trying to fish the bike around some sort of center mast. It's all neat and tidy. Now I like to just take this hook and loop strap and actually secure this clamp up top to the post and re-secure the straps down at the bottom. It just keeps everything neater when the bikes are unloaded. And from here, let's actually get some measurements starting with our ground clearance. This bike rack does have sort of a U-shaped design. So the back end, lowest point here, we get 13 and a half inches of clearance. Not the best, but not the worst. I'd say with any sort of steep driveways, you should be all good. Just be watchful of that. And make sure you don't go in any big hills. As far as the back end goes, we're adding 28 and a half inches from the back of the vehicle. Not too bad, it is fairly condensed, but we can fold it upright when it's not in use. We can just come here to the mast, undo these little rubber straps, and that'll free up these handles here to be opened. We can then fold down the mast, re-engage the handles, and re-secure those straps. Those straps are just to ensure the handles don't pop open accidentally. From here, we've got another pin and clip down near the hitch that we can pull out, rotate the bike rack up, and re-secure this with the newly aligned holes down at the bottom. You do have to kind of wiggle it around to get that correct alignment. But once you do, you can re-secure it. And we've got a much more condensed bike rack. Now only adding about 13 and a half, 13 inches to the back of the vehicle here. So it does sit a lot closer. That closest point is probably three inches away but there isn't much movement here. I don't think we'll have any vehicle contact. It does block your backup camera quite a bit here, so just be mindful of that when you are backing up. If you're looking for something less bulky, maybe check out the Kuat transfer. And then down here, we have an integrated anti-rattle knob that's gonna keep it secure, and it's gonna work with a two inch hitch. At the hitch pin hole, we've got an included pin with a lock included as well, and that lock is key to like to the hand knobs up top. And overall, if you're looking for an e-bike rack that's gonna get the job done and do it really well, this is my pick. It's easy to use. It has one of the best ramps out of any options on our site because it's so big and easy to use. And I think it's gonna be a great fit on your Equinox here. Thanks for watching.